welcome to AETCM YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about the various causes of seizures. First, we will go through an exhaustive list of the various causes and then we will end with a mnemonic. So, first, the huge list. To start with, you can have an idiopathic reason. So, you may not find a cause at all. Next, secondary to birth injuries. You can have cerebral hypoxemia or cerebral birth injuries leading to seizures. Next is genetic causes. Some examples of genetic causes are neurofibromas, tuberous sclerosis, von Hippel-Lindau syndrome, inborn errors of metabolism and storage diseases. Fourth are tumors. Tumors could be a primary CNS tumor or even a metastatic tumor. Another common reason is infective. Infective causes to name some, you can have tuberculosis, you can have encephalitis, you can have cerebral abscesses, subdural empyema, toxoplasmosis, uh, cystic sarcosis, HIV and AIDS. Next is trauma. Trauma, of course, you know, can lead to head injury and then that can cause seizures. You can have inflammatory causes. Inflammatory causes examples are CNS vasculitis, SLE, sarcoid and multiple sclerosis. Then there are various drugs which can cause seizures. Common ones are alcohol, quinolones. Other causes are cardiac antiarrhythmic drugs like lidocaine. You can have antibiotics like penicillins, isoniazid, metronidazole, and as earlier mentioned, quinolones. You can have anti-malarial drugs. You can have other psychotropic agents like uh, TCAs, lithium, and even amphetamine withdrawal can present as seizures. Other causes is toxins. The common ones are your organophosphorus and heavy metal toxins as in lead and tin. And the causes of seizures are metabolic diseases. This is also again a very common presentation. The most common ones are hypoglycemia and hyponatremia. And other causes are hyperglycemia. Secondary to liver failure, you can have hepatic encephalopathy and uh, also intracranial uh, bleed secondary to liver failure, which can even present as seizures. Then you can have hypomagnesemia and renal failure leading to uremia presenting as seizures. Then other causes. Other causes are stroke, as I earlier mentioned intracranial bleed, diffuse degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's can lead and also scar epilepsies which can, uh, which can present as seizures. So that is an exhaustive large list. I am sure that many of us will not be able to remember all those things. So what about mnemonic which covers the most common causes. So the mnemonic is vitamins. To start with the V, V for vascular causes. You can club in your IC bleeds, your aneurysms and vasculitis. So V for vascular causes, then I, I for infections. Infections can have bacterial infections, TB infections, uh, you can have viral diseases and you, toxoplasma, cryptococcus, etc. So you have vascular causes, you have infections. Next is trauma, trauma leading to head injury, and also remember about the birth injury which I told initially and also T for treatment. So treatment is basically drugs. A lot of drugs which we have initially mentioned like your uh, antibiotics including quinolones, alcohol. Okay, so V I T A. A again for AV malformations and again alcohol. M. M for metabolic causes. So metabolic causes the common ones are hypoglycemia, hyponatremia, uremia, hypo and hypercalcemia. I for idiopathic as we told earlier without any specific cause. N for neoplasms. Neoplasms can be a primary CNS tumors or a metastatic lesion as mentioned earlier. E for errors of metabolism and ES for scar epilepsy. That is an old lesion which can present or act as an epileptic foci. So the mnemonic to remember is vitamins. Thank you.